Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm in Roxy Studios Park in Disneyland Paris, currently standing in front of Avengers Campus, which is opening on the 20th of July 2022. We're going to go in, have a look at some of the rides, the shops, the food, all sorts of things. So come along with me, it's going to be a good time. This is the avant premiere, so the pre premiere of Avengers Campus here in Wobbsy Studios Park. I'm filming this on the 17th of July, so a few days before its official opening on the 20th. And here is the entrance at the moment, I love it. it I can't believe it's actually open. It's been closed for so, so long, this area has been blocked off. And now we're finally. Oh, thank you so much. Bonjour. Oh, cast members are already phenomenal. And we've got this sign in front of us welcoming us in with the Avengers Campus logo. Hopefully, it's gonna. There you go. The sun was making it a little bit blurry, but oh my god, it honestly feels a little bit surreal. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's been a long time coming for this park, and I honestly can't wait. I can't wait. There's gonna be so much to discover, like I said, from food to rides and shopping, which we can already see a little bit of the shopping over here. Now, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be doing some separate videos going in full detail about the shopping here, the restaurant, the dining, etc. This is just gonna be an overview of the land, but yeah, let's carry on going. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so happy! <laughs> People are so, guests, other guests around me are all smiling as well. I think everyone's just excited for this. So we've just come through there. Here we've got the Avengers Campus logo again. Very, very cool. And this place just feels so different to what it used to be like. Oh, oh my god. So there's going to be a lot going on. And I obviously I'm completely new to it. So we're going to discover things together all at once. Oh! I think that, oh my god, is there a character there? One of the superheroes potentially? I see a crowd forming. It seems to be, if I'm not mistaken, the Wasp from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now, her Marvel knowledge isn't phenomenal, so correct me if I'm wrong, but she's here and there's a bit of a queue for her. And I've just promised the lovely, what's your name? Jessica. And can I see your teddy bear? Very, very cool. It's got a Spider-Man outfit. My name is Robin. <laughs> Robin? Oh, nice to meet you, Robin. Have you had a good time in the Avengers campus so far? What's been the best thing you've done here? Spider-Man web teacher. And apparently you were very good at it. Did you win? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> nice to meet you, Jessica. Give me a high five. <laughs> thank you. Hi, how are you? Great, how are you? Yeah, not bad, thank you. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. But it's, it's very nice weather today, no? It is. It's a little bit too hot for me, but it is nice. I know, obviously. I mean, if you can fly, it's of very course, nice. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, it is nice. <laughs> I went flying this morning, so it was really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I've just arrived, so I've got loads to discover in the Ventus campus. Yeah. You haven't done some missions? No, I've just met you. First person to meet. That's great. So good to see you. Lovely to see you too. Well, that was really cute and shout out to Jessica and her family. It was lovely meeting them. Um, I believe the Wasp actually changes with Ant-Man. So from time to time, you might either get the Ant-Man or the Wasp, depending on when you're here. Um, this place is cool. I'm still overwhelmed by it all. <laughs> Lord have mercy. It feels totally different to what the Studios Park used to be like this part of it anyway. Looks like we've got Pim Kitchen over here, which is a buffet restaurant here. I will be doing a whole video review of that very, very soon, dedicated to all the food that is available at the buffet and then on our right hand side I believe this is web slingers this is actually the attraction that I'm most excited about of the two rides here the time wait time is half an hour 30 minutes which isn't too bad let's have a look at the sign here it does say expected mothers should not ride supervised children at all times uh, anyone age seven and under needs to be accompanied by an adult so not too bad now fun fact for you this building used to be the building that hosted Armageddon the attraction up until 2019 and it was an attraction that hardly anyone enjoyed here in Disneyland Paris and when they did close it eventually in 2019 I have a whole video of that as well if you want to see what it was like it really was like overdue and I feel like the way they've changed it just from the exterior is insane like it's incredible it's like a totally different building and it's also quite a big building by the looks of it also I've just seen that they do do single rider for this attraction which is great and the single rider queue is 20 minutes so 10 minutes less and I am a single person so we're gonna go here we are in the queue I'm gonna take my glasses off it's a pretty hot day in Disneyland Paris so I'm making sure um, I'm protecting myself from the sun as much as possible if you aren't following me on Instagram something pretty terrifying happened to me in the parks a few days ago I had to go to hospital so I need to be extra careful in the single rider queue line you can see some information about the ride again very well themed over here project slinger and <laughs> Honestly, the theming is incredible. I was studying computer science at Empire State University and next thing I know, Web's begging me to join or maybe I beg them. So yeah, there's a lot of story as there is with all Disney things and Disney theme parks. Very, very cool. And here is our chef of project, Peter Parker. 
Comment ça va Je suis Peter Parker. Ici, chez Web, on a accès à une super technologie, comme le vibranium du Wakanda ou ce fluide extraterrestre dément. On a les particules de Pim et Star Trek. Euh, petit, arrête de faire ça, c'est bon. Mais si vous êtes là, c'est pour nous aider à tester le nouveau véhicule Slinger. Grâce à son processeur, vous lancerez vos propres toiles d'araignée, comme mon poste Spider-Man. Euh, Peter, ta sensation est en train de t'échapper. Oui, j'ai remarqué ça, chérie, et je te serai reconnaissant de lancer immédiatement le protocole. Peter, il y a un petit problème. Bon, enfin, si vous voulez lancer une toile, c'est simple comme bonjour. Vous tendez juste les bras dans la direction que vous voulez, et le tour là, c'est cool. Il y a un bon frontier de ses députés et dévore tout ce qu'il faut sur un passage. Ils ont l'air bloqués en mode contour et négation. Ok, je contacte Spider-Man. C'est bizarre. Euh, je vais appeler Spider-Man à la réplique parce que je crois qu'il est dans les parages. Ok, au revoir. Spider-Man As you may have noted, the spiders are multiplying and consuming everything in front. Unless Spider-Man can stop them, they will destroy the entire Avengers campus. Now J'active les protocoles de nouvelles. Salut, qu'est-ce qui se passe Vous avez un problème d'arachide Je vais vous aider. C'est bon. Le risque en fin de vidéo danger est peu mortel. Tu as peut-être besoin d'aide. Et qui j'ai mis le grand Pas de panique, les amis. Je vais régler ça. Ok, la journée est forte ouverte et annulée. So that was really fun, the little pre-show of Spider-Man web slingers. Um, yeah, it was really interesting seeing Tom Holland obviously as Spider-Man, but dubbed with a French um, French translation over him. It was cool actually, the French actually kind of really weirdly went with uh, Tom Holland's face. Anyway, let's go. We are, I think, very nearly there. The single rider queue is definitely moving quicker than the regular queue, which is the point of single rider queue. The funny thing is that my actual sunglasses today, I delivered really went for red because of Spider-Man and then these ones are kind of kind of similar they've got a red little side so we are number two sharing the vehicle with two other guests three other guests over here put those web vision talking glasses on they make everyone be cool we're in the ride it's actually really nice and cool here and the point of this I believe is very similar well, it might be even the exact same as the one in California it's that you need to shoot the spider bots Oh, we're going backwards, we're going backwards. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, it's spinning. Calibrage des lanceurs de toiles. Woo! Use that, Spider-Man. I'm a chérie. Vous en êtes où? Nous autres en route. Vous avez fini, c'est pas? Vous avez Mercy. So this is my score. I got 66,600, but they also give you the overall score, I believe, of the whole day, the best score or something like that. Well, that was a lot of fun. That was really, really fun. It's, I, I can see myself going on this ride over and over again, despite clearly not being too good at it. Reminded me a little bit of Toy Story Mania. And they even have a champion leagues over here with all the highest scores of the day. So I think what we saw in the middle what might have been just like the average score or the total score of all of us in our vehicle but this is actually i mean somebody's gotten a million wow and the attraction leads to a shop this is a pretty big shop by the looks of it we're gonna have a look at some of the stuff that they sell here not all the merchandise i'll be doing a separate tour going into detail with everything they sell at avengers campus but loads of spider-man things now these spider-man plates for instance these are eight euros each they're just plastic plates but cool for little kids they'd probably love it again some spider-man t-shirts over here oh my god this one's really cool actually look at that very cool yep enjoy that a lot this section actually is more or less mainly for children by the looks of it but we are gonna carry on oh what's going on here oh my god they've got the actual spider bots going on <laughs> this is fun and spidey is just there himself i think you can obviously buy these as well if you wish to and enjoy them 
spend as much as you want in your house. They're very, very fun. Look at them. These bucket hats, I've seen quite a lot of people and I think they're uh, pretty popular and actually it's something that I'm thinking of potentially getting as well just because it's very sunny and I like the color of them. It says web on them, genius, worldwide engineering bride weight and it's reversible so you can see one side of it here. This is the white side with the logos on it, very, very cool. And the red side, I guess, is like the main side. I'd probably wear it mainly like this. So the price for this, if you're wondering, is 25 euros. It's so cool to see the Avengers Campus like logos here as well, the tags. And then down here we've got a backpack, which also looks super cool, really, really cool. Spider-Man backpack here, web slingers. Quite a big one as well, it's got the side pockets, the zips. You can easily fit like loads of things in there, laptops, etc. Price for the backpack, by the way, is 40 euros, which I don't think is too bad at all, considering the size of this and the details on it. Pretty cool, reasonable in my opinion. Oh yeah, and these are the spider bots over here. You can get them in different colors. This is the red one over here, very cool. And then black. It says eight, ages eight and up. I'm not necessarily sure why. I guess it's because you have to be able to control them. I just want to see the price. Oh. I was trying to find the price and it literally says it here. 25 euros for the spider bots. Is it something that you would get? I feel like they're very fun. If I was a child, I'd probably really enjoy them. More spider bots here, more of these backpacks. And then here you can get, oh, okay, Spider-Man lunettes, goggles. Very, very fun. I'm not sure if, are they meant to do something special when you put them on? Okay, so digital expressions. So they are meant to do something cool. It's not just for the sake of it. They're 60 euros. Um, and I'm guessing you can see some cool things with them. I'm not quite sure to be honest, but they do look cool. Here's an adult t-shirt over here with the spider bot. Very nice. The price for this is 18 euros, which seems to be the price for a lot of t-shirts here at Disneyland Paris. This is a nice design actually, I like it. And it does say web slingers on the side as well. You've got these Spider-Man chaps. And then this backpack seems to be everywhere. Here's another t-shirt over here. It's got Spider-Man on it. Oh, I actually really like the design of this. Very cool, the way they've done it. Really, really nice. And does it come with, oh, I'm, I'm guessing this is like a set, maybe a pajama set or something. It's 46 euros. And yeah, it must be a pajama set because you can see the shorts inside it. This is an extra L, by the way. And then here's another t-shirt over here. This one's 30 euros. I wonder if this is like a glow in the dark one, perhaps, but it's really nice. It's got this black and on the back, nothing. But yeah, so many cool designs actually for t-shirts for adults. For those of you who like your shot glasses, they do a series of shot glasses here mini glass beaker very very cute really like the details on these and then they have this mug as well which is so interesting very cool this one 15 euros quite a big mug and on the back it does say park paris workshop oh, sorry i couldn't read but yeah paris workshop so it's very much a paris specific merchandise not from california here's another t-shirt and this one's actually probably my favorite so far stark industries intern i absolutely love the design i love how it goes over the sleeve the left sleeve over here as well what does it say here science is awesome and i agree it is yeah this is really cool this one is 30 euros again um very very nice and yeah like i said we're just kind of going past very quickly with some things if you want more detailed look at this make sure you subscribe for a full shop tour video um there you go another t-shirt here web uh, spider-man web these mugs that we've already seen here's another mug this one's cute it's got spider-man on it and like a sketchy vibe and then on the back it says yeah web slinger again expert this one is 17 euros it's quite a big mug and then they've got these magnets these balls these uh, water bottles look to be quite popular as well it's got the spider-man logo there very very cute these are 25 euros for the water bottles if you are interested but honestly this shop just the design of it itself if you look up one of my biggest tips when you come to Disneyland Paris or any Disney park really is to look up and if you look at all the props they've got going on at the top it's so so cool there's even like a little spider bot over there as well you can see with the spider webs let me just zoom on it there you go very 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 nicely detailed absolutely love it they're selling a specific superhero marvel autograph book now so if you're coming to avengers campus and meeting loads of superheroes you can have this and they'll sign it for you very very fun this is 10 euros 
And you can also get a pen that goes with it. This is Land Paris on it. It's got Spider-Man on it, the Hulk, Captain America. Yeah, there's loads of characters on there, loads of superheroes. We even got the Avengers here, and this is a magnet, which is very cool. Uh, five euros for the magnet, by the way. Someone's modeling these glasses here, the Spider-Man glasses that you could get, the 60 euro ones. So yeah, it says over here, Lunettes Lumieuse. 60 euros and what's this i'm not sure what this is actually bon de puissance is it like a little armband or something that you can wear again not quite sure what it does but it's something that you can buy apparently there's a whole section dedicated to Groot. i love those cushions you can buy these in disneyland paris as well like the rest of the park not just necessarily in this land but they are all very cute i love this look at that i love the color i love the design i think just his smile it's just so so cute is this a notebook yeah I think it is anyway, yeah, 15.99 euros and it's a full-on group notebook. I think the most popular section by all means seems to be this area over here because I think you can buy these little arm things uh, or hands or whatever you want to call them and apparently it helps you get a better score if you go on Web Slingers, the attraction that I was just on. So yeah, you've got the prices over here and it gives you a benefit I suppose it's something that you can not only enjoy just like as a little prop as a toy and have fun with but you can actually use it to you know improve your score on web slingers which is a very very clever move by Disney so you can kind of see them show it to you here on the screen I mean it's one of those things where even as somebody who's an adult who's not really that into Marvel I just quite like one of those I mean if it's gonna help me get a better score I am quite competitive despite being pretty bad at games like that uh, I feel like loads of children would want to want that and why not? I mean, I think price is quite expensive. If it's going to bring some joy to your day, I mean, the good thing about it is that it's not just going to be something that's going to sit in your house. Like when you're in the parks going on Web Slingers, the attraction, you can actually use it. But like, I suppose it is kind of worth it. And the good thing is that Disney's not saying you definitely need those. I mean, obviously I just did the attraction. I didn't have one of these arm things. And I still obviously had a good time and I still did it okay on the ride. So it's not like you definitely need one of those, which is good. You don't want to like discriminate against people who maybe don't want to buy it or can't afford it. I see some caps over here. Very, very cool. This one says it illuminates. Okay, very, very cool. We've got a Groot one over here. We've got these Avengers Campus umbrellas and it says this one also, apparently the color changes with this one. So when it rains, the color will change. And then I'm seeing some more mugs over here. It does say it's a limited, uh, basically you can only have, I believe, five or something. Uh, but there you go, this is an Avengers mug. Oh, very, very light. I did not expect it to be so light. This is 20 euros, Avengers Campus Disneyland Paris. Very cool, actually. I might get one of these because I didn't, the lightness, I wish you could like hold this. It's really light, guys. It's a very like, nice, light mug and I like the design as well down here we've got another one with Avengers Campus here as well I believe this is one that maybe changes color this one's actually heavy though and it's an Avengers Campus opening summer 2022 Disneyland Paris this one is 20 euros as well but like I said this one is definitely like a this is what any mug would normally feel like when you hold it whereas the silver ones up here the kind of more industrial looking ones that I showed you these ones which is probably going to be the one that I get these are very very light we have some more merch here including this hoodie which I think looks awesome I love the color very very cool it says unlock an exclusive experience ah interesting let me see if I can use my phone to basically scan that and see what happens all right let's see what happens okay we are now on the Disneyland Paris Instagram oh the effect by Disneyland Paris is ready to be viewed on Instagram open in Instagram uh, continue right oh can you see that there's the there's basically avengers campus flight force that little logo over there and then if you just take a photo of something i'm just going to try and get a photo of myself you can kind of see it here although i don't know how to get rid of the text here to be honest it says switch your camera i don't know how to get rid of that part maybe if we go here I mean, do I just put it here? I don't really know. Let's just put it on my stories and see what happens. All right, so I believe the effect is just like an Instagram filter and it's got the flight force there and it still does say change your camera on here. So I'm not quite sure, but it's something fun to do. Uh, try it out when you come here. Oh, this is nice. Is this like a little uh, postcard print? No, this is metallic. This is like a little art piece, I suppose, of Avengers Campus. There you go, it says it here. Impression sur plaque metal, print on metal plate. It's 40 euros, it's on Paris Marvel. And it's just like a little decor that you can have in your house. You can basically, it's already almost framed for you and you can have it kind of chilling 
maybe on a little desk or something of Avengers Campus's artwork, if you like. Very cool. And then they also have some pins over here. The Queen Jet flight crew. This one is, let's have a look at the prices. This one is a pink one. So I will tell you here, it's 13 euros. For this one, it makes sense, there's two pins. There's the Avengers Campus, like the logo, the Queen Jet one. Oh, this is nice. I feel like I might have to buy this. Okay, this is just a Avengers Campus uh, opening summer 22 Disneyland Paris. And this is orange, so it will be nine euros. They've also got some attraction specific pins over here. This one being Flight Force, Avengers Assemble Flight Force, which is kind of the Iron Man ride. Uh, basically what used to be Rock and Roller's Coaster. This one is an orange one, so nine euros. And then, yeah, just some random different ones as well. Avengers Assemble Flight Force with different characters. There's the one with Iron Man on it. Very, very cool. And, oh, the Spirit Jersey, of course. They do still have the Spirit Jersey. I don't think it's going to sell out. I mean, Disneyland Paris has been good recently with stocks. And it's really cool. Look at that. It says Avengers Campus, Disneyland Paris. On the back, it's black with uh, white writing in blue. And then on the front, you've got, of course, the logo. Very cool. This is an extra S. And these are 65 euros. So 65 euros for these uh, Spirit Jerseys with Avengers Campus on them. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> Oh. Well, I am leaving the shop now. Thank you. Um, I may have purchased a couple of things and make sure you watch until the end of this vlog because there might be a little something for a little giveaway, but they had some really cool things. I mean, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. I found it to be pretty good in terms of what they had available, the variety. Attention. Avengers Campus Records. Black Widow has a message for you. Oh my God. Okay, so Black Widow's just over there. Look at her. Merci, Friday. Bonjour à tous. Merci d'avoir répondu à l'appel. Je voulais prendre un moment pour vous souhaiter la bienvenue à vous, nouveaux membres de notre équipe. Vous avez été héroïque en montrant votre courage et votre bravoure. Nous avions besoin de vous. Et ensemble, nous nous battrons pour ce qui est juste. Au Avengers Campus, vous faites vos propres choix. Mission accomplie. little kids get so excited about it about seeing their favorite superhero it was a little tight like small little show thing that just came out spoke a little bit did some little cool superhero poses spider-man was there as well i hope i get to catch him again at some point i believe it's also like a lot of meet and greets here which we've obviously done one we did it with the wasp and the Adman also like i said changes with her from time to time but i think there's also like a superhero training thing which hopefully we'll get to do at some point but for now i am a little bit hungry and we've got stark factory which is the main quick service restaurant restaurant here in Avengers Campus at Disneyland Paris in front of us so I think let's go in get something to eat this place mainly does pizzas and pastas but apparently they're like made fresh so hopefully it should be good uh, that pasta this one looks quite nice actually with the cheese I might even try one of the pizzas even though I'm not the biggest pizza fan so yeah it'd be nice to actually be out of the sun as well in the shade again so let's head in oh hello Oh my god, okay, this is cool. So this, again, this is a re-theming of a restaurant that used to already be here in Disneyland Paris. 
and I, I'm really impressed with how they've done it. They've got all these tables here laid out for you. It's pretty big as well. I believe this used to be a buffet restaurant back in the days. Um, and yeah, now it's turned into this awesome looking big quick service place. Also, whilst we're at it, huge, huge shout out to the cast members working at Avengers Campus. I mean, all the cast members in Zampa are amazing. But obviously with this being a new land, obviously they've only just trained to work in this new part of the parks. So they've all been fantastic, so nice, so friendly. Oh, hello. There's one over there. Hi, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. You? Hello. Yeah, <laughs> good to see you. How are you. Not bad, thank you. Okay, so I believe the way it works, almost like a little campus area. So you get your tray, you go and pick whatever you want, almost like a little canteen, and then you kind of pay at the end. Oh, the pizzas actually do look pretty good. Look at that. Like, they're pretty big slices, too. That cheese one looks nice. Hello, Hi, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, this one also looks nice. There's a lot going on here. They've got some fresh salads as well, I believe. So that's always good. There's a variety of them. Side salad over here. And then Hyperball Vegan. So there's a vegan salad as well, which is good. Oh, and I forgot about the pastas. So these are the pastas over here. I love the bowls they come in, Stark Factory bowls. This one is, uh, I guess, I'm guessing just like a tomato one. And then the one I'm interested in is this one. The cheesy one looks pretty good anyway oh there's more pizzas there and you can see they actually bake them there fresh in the oven which is awesome so i think i'm gonna pick myself one of these pastas and maybe also a slice of pizza so we'll see how it goes there you go we'll go for this one looks to be like very much a cheese pizza with just some olives on it i mean this is a lot you can see my hand this is a lot of food but i haven't eaten at all today really um so hopefully it should be good so this is going to be my late lunch today as we saw i went for the cheese pizza slice the cheese pasta which i'm intrigued about and then you also get some cutlery given it does say stark factory on it and just like a minute made orange juice so yeah this is gonna be it i thought i'd show you the prices very quickly as well so this is my receipt over here i did get my annual pass discount so i got about two euros 340 sorry three euros 40 off and all together it came to 30 euros and 69 i did get a bottle of water as well but i put that in my bag now just to always carry a bottle of water with me when it's hot outside okay so i'm not sure what to start with but i think i just want to go with the pizza because it's the one that believe it or not i'm the most excited about the fact that it's kind of you know, made fresh over there it smells really really good oh this looks really good actually so we're gonna give this a taste test by the way before i take a bite if you would like me to do a full video of all the food here that's available at avengers campus obviously i'm going to do a pims one very very soon about that restaurant only but if you want one of everything else let me know because obviously i can't eat everything today but i can do one over the next school two days maybe and uh, maybe put them all together and that can be a food video of avengers campus but let's give this a taste test now all right let's do it this is delicious. This is really, really good. The cheese is incredible. Oh my God. I've got cheese all over me. And the actual pizza base as well. It's quite thick, to be honest. Not everyone's going to enjoy thicker pizza, but I quite like it. It's so good. Honestly, look at me. I'm, I'm, I just want to keep eating. Let's have a bite with the olive as well. This is very, very good. Initially, I was a bit nervous that because it's like another place in Disneyland Paris that again sells pizza and pasta, and we already have quite a lot of places in Disneyland Paris that sell pizza and pasta i was a little bit sad and worried that it wouldn't be that good but this is definitely one of the best pizzas that you can find in disneyland paris so despite it being kind of similar food to what we've had before in the parks this is an absolute mess i feel like this is quality pizza as in in terms of quick service pizza this is definitely good pizza the pizza was 14 euros by the way so 14 euros for the big slice of pizza that we just had i'm not sure if i mentioned it before but some people might think that 14 euros is a bit much and i i get that but it was a large slice you saw how big it was i've only got a little bit of it left right now and it's very filling i can tell you i'm already quite full next is time for the cheesy spaghetti over here looks pretty good it just looks like mac and cheese to be honest with some stuff on it what are these little bean things i'm not quite sure but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing if this matches the pizza because the pizza was genuinely phenomenal. The cast members over there did say as well that the pizza is one of the most popular things here. The cheese one, especially the one that I just ate. They said I'm lucky that I was able to get a slice because sometimes it sells out. So if you're coming here and you really want that pizza, make sure you get here early. But um, yeah, we've got our spaghetti bowl over here. Stark Factory it says as well. Very nicely themed and we've got the pasta in there. Again, this is quite a hefty bowl. This one was 13 euros just for this. So we will see how this goes. All right, let's give this a go. It's just macaroni and cheese, isn't it? 
I don't think it's too special to be honest. I mean, I had a bit of the seeds with my first bite and I get why they've put the seeds on top of the mac and cheese, if you like, because it gives it a bit of a crunch and that makes it more of an enjoyable experience. But the actual pasta, as you can see, is more or less just mac and cheese, isn't it? Which, don't get me wrong, I love a good mac and cheese. There's a bit of seed attached to it. Yeah, I don't mind mac and cheese, it's, I do enjoy it, but I don't think it's that special. Let me take another bite. It's very basic, I have to be honest. This is a very, very basic dish. I don't think it's worth 13 euros at all, personally. Yeah, I'm gonna try as much of it as I can, but it's definitely not something that I see myself getting again, I'm afraid. And with a stomach full of carbs now, I thought I'd show you some of the decor here at Stock Factory because it is very, very cool. Over there you've got some, it says, what does it say, technology? And then some more stuff at the end over there. Let's have a closer look. Specialized project, it says, up there. And then over here, robotic units. Yeah, honestly, the props they've got going on here all around Avengers Campus so far from what I've seen is just phenomenal and the centerpiece as well, very, very cool. Here's another one of the dining areas here at Stock Factory. This place is huge. There are seats and tables everywhere, which is good. The Walt Disney Studios Park needed a place like this, a quick service place like this, and I'm so glad to see it. But the best one, oh, they're taking some photos here. You can kind of get a glimpse already over here in this dining area. You've got Peggy Carter's office over here, which is just amazing I feel like this dining area is probably definitely the most popular one of the few that we've seen so far but it's actually also a photo opportunity so you can actually go and sit there and take your photo in her office pretty cool and here's another look at where the office is so that's the office it's popular everyone's trying to take photos of it and they have only a few tables here in this room over here but again loads of props and detailed stuff all around it as well even up there you can see well that was that that was our very late lunch here at Stark Factory, wow, it's still definitely very, very hot outside. It is about, let's have a look. It's about 6 p.m. actually, so maybe that was technically dinner. <laughs> and I believe I've spotted Captain America himself up there. Oh, so cool, I feel like there's always something going on in Avengers Campus, and I hope they keep this up. If they keep this up, and if it's not just for the previews that they have it like this, this land will definitely be a success. It's amazing. Look at Captain America just over there. <laughs> anyway, we are gonna continue our tour of Avengers Campus because there's still a few things that we haven't seen yet. And I believe the next thing that I'm hoping to do today is the training center, which is just over here, the Avengers Campus Training Center. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. I'm not sure how it works, if we need to get like a reserve reservation thing to come back or not, but there's also a lot of food places here. Oh my God, like we're gonna have to try a lot of this. I feel like I wanna make that video now, even if you don't want it. I feel like that should be a video, Avengers Campus food, because look at it. There's all these carts everywhere. Amazing, there's going to be a lot to try, but I believe we're kind of nearing the end of the campus. There's another food truck over there, but I think in terms of attractions and things to do, the training center behind me is the last thing, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's the thing that I've been the most excited about, or should I say most intrigued about, because when the concept art came out about the training center, it just looks so fun. Finally get to meet a superhero, it could be Spider-Man, it could be Iron Man, it could be anyone, and then you get to do different poses with them, and the photo pass people take some really funky, really fun photos of you with them, so we'll see how that goes. So I just checked the cast member, and unfortunately, the training center is closed, at the moment, when I say closed, I don't mean it's closed. Basically, they're not taking any more people on. Because it's very, very popular and you kind of need to make a reservation, which I wasn't, I didn't know. But basically, there's a little QR thing. I'm going to put it here. It's going to be the same once it officially opens on the 20th of July as well. You're going to have to make a reservation on the app at that point about which character you want to see at one point, at what time. And then, yeah, you get a time slot, you come to the training center, and I believe you're going to have to maybe wait a little bit. You go in and you meet them. Now, I'm hoping to do this tomorrow because I'm back at Avengers Campus tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe to my channel because like I said, this is just an overview of the land. Like you've seen the training center from outside, but there'll be so many more things to do and eat and, and maybe buy as well, that there's gonna be a lot more to come. So sadly, not today, we can't go in there, but it does sound really fun. <laughs> like the cast was saying there's loads of different superheroes and Spider-Man is one of them, which I'm hoping I'll be able to see him. And I'm definitely looking forward to hopefully trying it out tomorrow. We are now back in the center part of Avengers Campus. You can see the Avengers logo on the floor on the concrete and then the attraction that we have in front of us is of course Avengers Flight Force. Now this used to be the rock and roller coaster. Those of you who've been to Disneyland Paris before 2019 would remember this location over here and it was a really awesome ride. One of my favorite rides there actually but they've obviously completely rethemed it. It looks incredible. We've got the Quinjet up there as 
well. Now, if you're familiar with Rock and Roller, you'd know that this is going to be a big ride, a big roller coaster with twists, with turns. It's going to go upside down because the actual track is the exact same track as the Rock and Roller one. They haven't changed that at all. And you need to be a minimum of 120 centimeters if you want to ride this attraction, which, as you can see, I am. However, unfortunately, as I did mention very, very briefly earlier in the vlog, a few days ago when I first arrived at Disneyland Paris, it was about 36, 37 degrees, and I was watching the parade, and something happened. My heart rate suddenly went really, really high to 195 which is a lot I had to be rushed to hospital it was just a whole ordeal and even though the doctors have obviously released me from hospital and it thankfully wasn't anything serious I personally don't feel comfortable going on this ride right now on this trip until I get checked by my actual doctor in London by my GP and maybe even a heart specialist just so I know exactly what went wrong because I just don't want to risk that happening to my heart again which is a bit of a shame but I'm lucky enough that I know I'll be coming back to Disneyland Paris very very soon and once I get the all clear that I am allowed to go on this ride I will do as I said this is my personal choice no one's told me not to go on this attraction it's just I don't think it's the wisest thing for me to do however I'm still gonna go and show you the queue line because apparently the queue line is probably the best thing about it from what I've heard from other people because like I said the actual ride is the exact same as rock and roller and from what I've heard a lot of people are saying it's not as good as rock and roller was but we, we're gonna find out ourselves hopefully maybe next month when I come back and once my heart situation is like confirmed as to being good but yeah apparently the wait time is only five minutes at the moment so we're gonna <laughs> have just a good time hopefully looking at the queue lines and everything it's really impressive again what they've done to the building of rock and roller and it looks to be a pretty long queue line obviously uh, the queue is not actually long today but they do have a lot of space for when it does potentially get longer I'm assuming after 20th of July when it's open to everyone here's the main entrance again over here and it says five minutes for single riders ten minutes for regular riders I might actually join the regular queue because I want to be able to see everything but I wanted to show you the warning signs to this so it says for safety you should be in good health and free from high blood pressure heart which is my problem unfortunately at the moment back or neck problems motion sickness and other conditions etc expect and mothers can't ride and then age, uh, children over the under the age of seven so I need to be accompanied by an adult it does also say that the seating and restraints on this attraction may prohibit guests of certain body shapes or sizes from riding now I didn't see a test like seat anywhere but I presume maybe there will be one inside I feel like it's gonna be the exact same as rock and roller so if you've been on rock and roller here in Disneyland Paris and by the way the track of rock and roller in Disneyland Paris is the exact same one as the one in Disney World in Hollywood Studios so basically if you've been to Disney World <laughs> Hollywood Studios and you've done um, what's the word I'm looking for a rock and roller coaster over there Aerosmith rock and roller coaster the actual ride itself is going to be the exact same as this ride that I'm about to show you right now like the track absolutely the exact same it's just a theming that's different this part of the ride reminds me so much of the queue line for Aerosmith rock and roller because there used to be a queue line here as well for that it's so cool how amazingly they've managed to change all up there and we theme it it almost feels like a different ride altogether like if you didn't know what used to be here before you would have no idea but yeah let's carry on so we've got the black panther here a little poster of him and then captain marvel oh these are cool i'm already happy that i came to check out the queue line because all of this stuff looks pretty cool there's iron man and then here we've got captain america which we're lucky to see earlier as well and then the hulk there you go and let's keep going we've got the avengers logo over here avengers assemble very very cool oh i so want to go on it right now i feel like it might have been a mistake coming here don't worry i won't do it my health obviously comes first i'm gonna get closer to the ride show it to you but not actually go on it but i'm getting pumped like oh, i can't wait hopefully next month or the next time i'm here i'll get to go on it finally Voyons qui est disponible dans l'équipe. Who else did you have in mind to assist in the mission? The Guardians appear to have their own problems at the moment. C'est quoi ce nom déjà? His name is Rocket, sir. This is a really bad time. I'm in the middle of a rescue mission. Rocket, ici Tony Stark. On aurait bien besoin de quelqu'un. You don't get your name. Look at what's going on behind me. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. Oh, also, blue lights up there as well. Oh my God, this queue just keeps going and go. Oh, I just heard the scream of people going and it's so exciting. Oh. Okay. 
Consider your hands juiced. Somebody have a fifth idea. Thank you. So glad you approve. I've been going. Contacting Captain Marvel. Are you ready? We've got a situation. As you know, Cree warheads are headed our way, and we need your help. Ne vous inquiétez pas. J'ai créé un transpondeur qui va tromper le système de guidage des missiles et faire en sorte d'être plus possible. Ces transpondeurs sont chargés dans les véhicules hypersoniques de la Flight Force. Votre mission piloter ces véhicules et détourner les missiles de la Terre. Right. You'll be joining us on the mission. Tony's built a transponder that the missile's targeting system will lock onto. Safety briefing is my thing. Fun fact, that is the first ever audio animatronic here in Walter's Studios Park, and it's, of course, Iron Man for this attraction. Pretty cool, to be honest. Remember, recruits, we're all counting on you. These ballistic warheads need to be stopped. Our Avengers have complete confidence in your abilities to lead the projectiles away from the planet so they can demolish them. If this works as Mr. Stark envisions it, you will all save the world. Bear in mind, the hypersonic is a high-speed vehicle. Be prepared for loud noises, sharp turns, 360-degree loops, and sudden drops at high velocities. For your safety, you should be in good health and free from high blood pressure, heart, back, neck problems, motion sickness, and other conditions that could be aggravated by this issue. Expected mothers may not ride. There you go, we've got the launch control area here and we're very very close to the actual ride now, the roller coaster will be just over there. loading area over there behind me and you just saw the launch as well earlier it's literally the exact same as rock and roller everything even from the actual like roller coaster itself by the looks of it the exact same here's a closer look at the ride these people are getting ready to go bye bye <laughs> Loki I think it's a good thing that I'm not doing this ride because even just being uh, in the queue for this for the past like 10 15 minutes or so so I've just left from there uh, I kept checking my heart rate and it's a little bit higher than it should be obviously not nearly as high as it was a few days ago I had to go to hospital but I just no <laughs> but um yeah I mean it looks like a cool ride to be fair let me put my glasses on quickly the ride looks cool obviously if you're into Marvel and Avengers and Iron Man Lord have mercy you're gonna enjoy the new retheming of it but if you're expecting something completely new, please don't. I've said it before in my videos as well. It's very common knowledge that the actual like uh, track of the ride, the roller coaster, isn't any different to rock and roller. The theming was pretty cool though, and I specifically love seeing Iron Man as an animatronic. Like he looks so realistic. And as I said, it is the very first animatronic or the animatronic here in Walt Disney Studios Park. So I really enjoy just the queue line of it, and I'm sure when I eventually go on the ride, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll enjoy it because the actual ride itself I've always enjoyed. I like thrill rides and. Even if I don't like the new theming, which I think I probably will anyway, I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy the actual roller coaster itself. And they've done a really good job of making it easy for you to leave. Merci if you don't want to do the ride. Uh, you saw the little thing, the little visuals that said if you're pregnant, if you've got high blood pressure, heart problems, neck problems, etc., you should leave. Um, and there was actually a little thing that says as well, this is your time to opt out. And it was like, oh, no one's gonna judge you, just make sure you opt out. And you just basically get to go and do the whole queue line and then even see the the ride itself which is kind of cool and then that's where you would exit to leave the ride so if any of you are visiting Avengers campus in the near future with your children your kids or maybe just an adult who isn't quite sure whether or not they want to go on Avengers flight force then it's easy for them to go and have a look at the ride it might be something for them that if they see the ride and if they see exactly how it goes then they can make up their mind as to whether or not they definitely want to do it so they can still come with you without there being any pressure on them having to actually do the ride which I think is very very good and that goes with almost all the rides here at Disneyland Paris. They'll never force you to do a ride. So even if you're in a queue for a ride and you get there and you're not feeling well, or you change your mind, you can always leave, which is great. But I want to walk around Avengers Campus a little bit more before we head out, because whilst we've more or less done everything, obviously apart from Flight Force and the Training Center, which we are gonna do hopefully tomorrow, there was that last bit on that side, which kind of had mainly food items, which you didn't really properly check out. So I'm gonna head towards that direction now. And in terms of shaded area, 
Avengers and Avengers Campus. There is quite a bit actually, but the majority of it is not shaded. And because it's concrete as well on the ground, it does get even hotter than some of the other parts of the park. So just be aware if you're visiting here in the summer months when it gets really, really hot. Okay, so here we've got the Super Diner, which says excellent food. This place used to be called Cafe de la Casque d'Or, if I'm not mistaken. My friend Rebecca and I actually ate there once. I've only ever been inside it once. And obviously it was before they changed it to a Marvel themed a super diner. You can see they mainly do Reuben sandwiches here. So a variety of Reuben sandwiches, including some vegan ones, which is always good. The more vegan options in Disneyland Paris, the better. But it does look pretty good. Prices range from six euros to 11. The six euro one being for children. But I, obviously I'm not hungry at all right now. But when that food video comes, guys, you bet there'll be a video of this as well, the Reuben sandwich. I can't wait to try it, hopefully in the next few days. And then last but not least, in Avengers Campus, you can see the exit over there, actually. You've got this other food truck over here, which by the looks of it, mainly sells hot dogs. Yeah, so hot dog American, Lang Quayab hot dog, the incredible hot dog and also a veggie hot dog as well which is good and then oh a spider-man 3d glass or ice cream magnum cornetto and i believe a cheesecake as well so this is the cheesecake over here cheesecake pop milk chocolate and almond coated cheesecake it's five euros looks pretty good and of course they also sell the vegan cookie over here for three but yeah that's more or less it for my day at avengers campus today when i say day i mean like the past couple of hours or so that i've been here to be honest i'm heading back out out to the front entrance of it where the big Avengers logo is on the ground because as I mentioned earlier I have a little giveaway for those of you who've watched this whole video just to say thank you for supporting me on YouTube and this is the giveaway item the prize so it's the pin that says Avengers Campus opening summer of 2022 Disneyland Paris it's gonna be a very very good souvenir memorabilia to have for years to come it's a gorgeous pin as well in my opinion I also did buy one for myself not gonna lie this giveaway is open worldwide so no matter where you are in the world you can enter to win this pin and all you need to do to enter for this giveaway is to just leave a comment down below on this video that you're watching right now just leave a comment with your favorite Avenger your favorite superhero something like that and on the 31st of July when the giveaway ends so in about two weeks time I'm gonna pick a winner by random and that means that I'm not gonna be picking somebody myself I'm gonna put all the entries into a little automated thing online and a winner will be chosen by random I'll contact them and hopefully I can then send this little pin to you so there you go that's the giveaway Away. if you want this little pin leave a comment down below with the name of your favorite Avenger your favorite superhero I was about to end this video but I've just spotted a few superheroes myself over there I didn't expect them to still be around a fight to the death huh? whoa hey no 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 Battle de danse A dance ouais, off Ouais, 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 a dance off Hey, euh, la voix dans les nuages, balance le son Initiating Mr. Stark's inspirational place. J'adore Non mais c'est quoi ça Oh, hey, non, on peut pas danser là-dessus Oh yeah Now that's music yeah. wow. Hey, camarade, tu peux couper avec moi half an hour or so for the previews. It's still very atmospheric, still people enjoying life, characters around, very very cool. Ooh, I've just seen a little spider bot on the ground. Of <laughs> yeah, um, that is basically it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me in the comments down below what you think of Avengers Campus in Disneyland Paris so far. If you visited it yourself during the previews, I would love to hear your thoughts. Are you excited about it? What do you think will be the thing you're looking forward to the most? I mean, for me, I would say the highlight was probably that pizza at Stark Factory. I just love my food and that pizza was really, really delicious, not gonna lie. Spider-Man's Web Slingers attraction was also very good and it's actually currently again at a five minute wait. I might be tempted to go on it again, I don't know. Genuinely thought I was about to end this video for the second time now, but when it's five minutes, you gotta do it. Let's go on it. I hope I managed to beat my own score at least this time round. I'm probably not gonna film it so I can focus on shooting 
ring and all that stuff. I can't get over Tom Holland speaking in French. Obviously, he's not actually speaking in French, but you know what I mean. It's just so weird. But again, kudos to whoever's dubbed him because the voice is quite similar to Tom Holland's actual voice. Let's get our web vision again from here. The little glasses. Seems very, very quiet now, actually, for this retraction. Let's head in now. This time we're on the other side. Last time I was going backwards mainly, so we'll see if it makes any difference. Messi. They just came to wish us good luck. Hopefully I'll do well. We'll see. There's only three of us actually. There's nobody next to me, so I don't know. We'll see how that changes. Oh god, we're going. I got 230,000. This is our combined score of the whole vehicle together. But 230,000, or two, sorry, 230,000 and 100 isn't too bad. Listen, I more than tripled my score this time round. I'm actually really impressed, but my arms hurt, I'm not gonna lie. My arms, this is like an actual arm workout, it really is. I feel like the fact that there was nobody sat next to me definitely helped because I was able to kind of use my hands more freely without worrying about hitting the person next to me. But, Lord have mercy, like it really is a, an arm workout, but a good one at that. Like, I feel like if I had a personal trainer and my personal trainer was this attraction, I would definitely work really hard at the gym. But yeah, 230,000 and something like that was my score. Let me know what your score is if you come and do this attraction. I know that I'm definitely not really good at it still. I just got to do a little bit better this time because I wasn't holding my camera and I put more into it as well. But it's really, really fun. It's an addictive ride for sure. I can see myself going on it over and over again. Anyway, here's one final look and I definitely mean final this time out for this video of Avengers Campus right now. I've got Flight Force over here, training center down there. And then if we keep going, you've got the food trucks that we saw. And then this is the main shop, which at the moment you can only access if you actually ride the web slinger ride the spider-man ride that we were just on and then of course we have pim's kitchen over here which i'll be making a full video about very very soon and yeah that's the entrance of it and we can kind of see studio 2 in front of us it's so weird one thing i have to say about this land is that it's incredibly immersive like i honestly forgot that we were in, even in Walt Disney studios until i saw that studio 2 sign again and then earlier we walked past tower of terror at the back of it and i was like oh of course we're in Walt Disney studios because it very much feels like a different place altogether they've done a phenomenal job with the theming the food options from what i've seen so far and what i tried today are also very very good and i can't wait to try more and honestly even as somebody who's not the biggest marvel fan i mean i like marvel i've seen some of the films i'm hoping to watch more of them i still had a great few hours here i really enjoyed myself and i can't wait to come back here tomorrow make some more videos try out pim's kitchen as well hopefully go on web slinger again and maybe beat my score again we will see but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe for more videos like this Follow me on Instagram as well because there might be another giveaway to do with Avengers Campus stuff specifically for Instagram coming up very very soon. But for now, from me and Avengers Campus here at Disneyland Paris in July of 2022, I bid you farewell. Goodbye.